I just got this job done on this vehicle and I'm going to show you guys why it is time to replace your ABS pump. Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repair. In today's topic, I'm going to discuss about bad ABS pump. Now the first common sign of a bad ABS pump is going to be your wheels are locking up. Let's just say you're driving and suddenly you need to instantly stop or panic stop and you feel like your wheels are locking up and you, your vehicle starts to skid, that means the ABS pump is failing. If you also notice that when you're braking and your braking distance also starts to increase, that is also another sign that your ABS pump is failing. And another example is, let's just say you're driving on slippery road conditions, such as you know icy road or when it's raining heavily, and let's just say you start to brake and you will start to lock up again. That is also another sign that your ABS pump is failing and should be checked out. The second most common sign that your ABS pump is failing is going to be skidding. So the purpose of the ABS pump is to prevent skidding, especially when you're braking. So when you let's just say you step on a brake pedal, you're supposed to feel some sort of pulsation that the pump is kicking in. For example, it's going to start to release the, um, the hydraulic pressure in the brake line. By doing that uh, instantly, that's going to prevent the vehicle from skidding. So if you notice that you have increased braking distance with stepping on a brake pedal, there's a good chance your ABS pump may be failing. So the third common sign that your ABS pump is failing is hard brake pedal. So basically, let's just say you're stepping on your brake pedal and it feels kind of hard and difficult to push. That's also a sign that your ABS pump is also failing. But however, you need to make sure to check everything first before you condemn the ABS pump. You want to make sure that you're not your brake, that's not your brake booster that's causing the problem. You want to make sure you don't have a bad brake booster check valve. You want to make sure you don't have a brake booster um, vacuum leak. You also want to make sure that the wheel speed sensor are also functioning. So the fourth common sign that your ABS pump is failing is unresponsive. Let's just say you're stepping on a brake pedal and for some reason it's not really quite responding as it should. That's also a sign that your ABS pump is failing. On top of that, let's just say if your ABS light turns on, your traction light turns on and all that stuff, that is a good sign that your ABS pump should also be looked into and make sure that it's actually, this is actually the problem that's causing all of it. Before condemning the ABS pump, there's a few things that you should check. For example, you wanna make sure that you don't have any hydraulic fluid leaks, especially also known as brake fluid leaks. You wanna make sure that there are no leaks around the brake caliper. You wanna make sure there's no leaks at the lines at the ABS pump, you want to make sure that your brake fluid reservoir is topped off. On top of that, next you want to check is the connection right at the ABS module. So basically for most ABS pump, the module is built together with the ABS pump. You want to make sure the connection is tight. You want to make sure there's no corrosion built up into it and so on. So if you decide to replace your ABS pump, you're going to need two things and they're very simple. First, you're going to need a line wrench or a regular wrench and you're also going to need some sort of lubricant. So before you begin loosening up the lines, you want to make sure that you add some lubricant into it to help free it up. Next, you want to use a line wrench and you want to crack it open. Once you're done with that, you can switch over to a regular wrench and slowly remove it. So when you're done replacing the ABS pump, there's going to be a lot of air in the system and that needs to be bled. So I'm going to show you some trick to reduce the amount of air in this ABS pump. What do you want to do? You can see we have one, two, three, four, and five lines. So what you want to do is tighten this one up, tighten this one up, 
tighten this one up and tighten this one up. Make sure to leave this one loose. Next, fill up the uh, brake fluid, a uh, reservoir with brake fluid. Keep filling it up until you see brake fluid starts to come out out of this hole. What this is going to do is that it's going to keep forcing air out until it reaches to the highest point. So basically you are filling up the ABS pump with brake, uh, with, uh, brake fluid and that's going to reduce the amount of air inside the system. So that is one really good way to reduce the amount of air in the system and you don't have to break you don't have to bleach your brake system that much. I hope this video is useful. Thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs. And don't forget to leave me a comment and give me a like.